Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic. Now here we are going to start third unit statistics. Statistics. Uh, it is the application of mathematics. Pure mathematics. Now the first concept in statistics: measures of central tendency. When measurements are taken on phenomenon means when measurements are taken on any experiment it is observed that observations have a tendency to cluster in some part of the range usually the central part of the range this tendency is known as central tendency there are five methods of finding a measure of central tendency the first one is arithmetic mean second one median third one mode fourth one geometric mean and fifth one harmonic mean so these are the methods to find the measure of central tendency in this five arithmetic mean gives more accuracy so in day to day life also we use arithmetic mean to find the central tendency now the first now the first concept is arithmetic mean means we are going to discuss about arithmetic mean only here see when the data is in the form of ungrouped data means only the variables or the observations are given when only observations are given it means that that every observation is appearing at once means the frequency of every observation is one in that case see if x1 x2 x3 f x n are n observations then the mean is equal to the formula to find the mean is equal to its notation is x bar is equal to summation xi upon n means you do the addition of all the observations n number of observations and divide it by n so you will get the arithmetic mean for that n number of observations okay when the data is in the data is given in the form of frequency distribution means it is also called group data if xi are the class marks and fi are the their respective frequencies for i is between 1 to n then the mean is equal to means suppose n observations are given x1 x2 x3 up to xn and the corresponding frequencies are also given f1 f2 f3 up to fn means x1 is for x1 the frequency is f1 for x2 the frequency is f2 and so on then how to find the mean in that case the formula is x bar is equal to summation fi xi upon summation fi means summation fx upon summation you in simple way you can say summation fx upon summation f this is the formula to find the arithmetic mean okay here note that we can write summation f is equal to n also capital n also this is also the notation for summation f means the total frequency addition of all the frequencies it is equal to capital n notation is n capital n remember it now the next concept dispersion meaning of dispersion is scatteredness to find whether measures of central tendencies are true representative of the data we calculate dispersion to measure the scatteredness of data from the mean we use two methods mean deviation and second one standard deviation there are two methods to measure the scatteredness of the data from the mean mean deviation and standard deviation in this two standard deviation gives more accuracy so we are going to discuss only standard deviation and the notation for standard deviation is sigma see to measure the scatteredness of the data from the mean we use two methods mean deviation and standard deviation now what is dispersion 
dispersion meaning of dispersion is scatteredness to find whether measures of central tendencies are true representative of the data we calculate dispersion okay so here using standard deviation we are going to measure the scatteredness of data from mean means we are going to check whether the average calculated for the given n number of observation is good average or it is uh, it is bad average or it is the best average we are going to conclude about the average which we have found for uh, the n number of observations okay standard deviation the notation is sigma here see for ungrouped data what is the formula to find the standard deviation for ungrouped data means only the n number of observations are given x1 x2 x3 up to xn and frequencies are not given it means that every observation is appearing at once only so it is also called ungrouped data now see what is the formula to find standard deviation it is equal to under root summation xi square upon n minus summation xi upon n whole square now this summation xi upon n is nothing but the formula of arithmetic mean it's square and first term summation x square xi square means you in simple way you can say summation x square upon n n means number of observations now for group data sigma is equal to means standard deviation is equal to the formula is under root summation fi xi square upon summation fi minus summation fi xi upon summation fi whole square in simple way you can say the formula is standard deviation is equal to sigma is equal to under root summation fx square upon summation f minus summation fx upon summation f whole square this is for group data okay so this is the formula you remember it now there is one note the square of standard deviation is called variance given by sigma square sigma is the notation used for standard deviation if you take the square of standard deviation it is called variance second note the coefficient of variation is given by cv coefficient of variation it is given by it is equal to sigma upon arithmetic mean into 100 sigma means standard deviation standard deviation upon arithmetic mean into 100 this is the formula to find the coefficient of variation now the example calculate arithmetic mean for the following frequency distribution you have to just calculate the arithmetic mean now the data is given in the form of frequency distribution means it is group data observations are given 1 2 3 4 5 observations and the for these five observations the corresponding frequencies are given here now you construct the table to find the arithmetic mean first column is x second column is of frequencies and third one is the multiplication of frequencies and observations f into x because we are going to find the arithmetic mean here and here we require the term fx f into x now you do the addition of all the frequencies total Uh, frequency uh, summation f summation f is also uh, noted by capital n so capital n is nothing but summation f it is equal to 35 to do the addition of all the frequencies it is 35 summation fx means the addition of all the values in this last column fx it is equal to 3893 now the formula to find the arithmetic mean x bar is equal to summation fx upon summation f summation fx is equal to 3893 upon summation f is means summation f means n the value of capital n it is 35 here the value 35 you do this calculation 3893 upon 35 it is equal to 111.2286 so this is the arithmetic mean for the given data now next example calculate arithmetic mean and standard deviation of the following frequency distribution now the data is given in the form of frequency distribution means the group data is given here now you find the arithmetic mean as well as standard deviation for the following distribution now you construct the table the first column x number of observations second column 
the corresponding frequencies for the observations. The third column is here f into x, f into multiplication of f and x. Now, then the fourth column is x square, and the next one is f into x square. Means x square means you find the square of observations. That is your that x square column, and f x square means f into x square column. And in last, you do the total. Means you do the addition of all the terms. So that you will get summation f, summation f x, summation f of x square to calculate the arithmetic mean and standard deviation. Now see the what is the formula to find the arithmetic mean? It is x bar is equal to summation f x upon summation f. Now what is summation f x? It is ninety one. So put here ninety one. Summation f it is twenty seven. So put summation f is equal to twenty seven. Calculate it ninety one by twenty seven. It is three point three seven. So this is the arithmetic mean three point three seven. Now you calculate standard deviation. The formula to find the standard deviation is equal to sigma is equal to under root summation f x square upon summation f minus summation f x upon summation f whole square. Now this summation second term is summation f x upon summation f. This is nothing but your x bar and its square. The x bar is here three point three seven. You just do the uh, square of three point three seven. First term summation f x square upon summation f. Summation f x square is here three five nine. So put summation f x square is equal to three five nine upon summation f is here twenty seven. So put summation f is equal to twenty seven. Now you do the calculation under root three five nine upon twenty seven minus three point three seven whole square. We calculate the value. Then the standard deviation is zero one point three nine two five. So this is a small value. Sigma is one point three nine two five. So that average is a average calculated three point three seven is good average. If the value of standard deviation is very large value, then in that case the average is four. This is your conclusion about. Arithmetic mean from the value of standard deviation. You remember it. Here, calculate standard deviation for the following frequency distribution. Decide whether arithmetic mean is good. See here, the data is given in the form of class intervals. Wages in rupees earned per day: zero to ten, ten to twenty, twenty to thirty, thirty to forty, forty to fifty, fifty to sixty. And the corresponding frequencies are given: number of laborers. Laborers are here in zero to five. Ten it is five. Ten to twenty nine. Twenty to thirty fifteen. Thirty to forty twelve. Forty to fifty ten and fifty to sixty three. Now you construct the table to find the arithmetic mean and standard deviation. So here, the first column wages earned in class interval. Wages earned in the form of class interval. It is given here zero to ten, ten to twenty, up to fifty to sixty. Now, second column, you take the mid value of this uh, class interval. Means for zero to ten, the mid value is five. We just divide zero to ten by two. You will get the mid value, ten to twenty. Addition of ten and twenty divided by two, you will get mid value, fifteen. Addition of twenty and thirty, and then you divide it by two, you will get mid value, twenty-five, and so on. For thirty to forty, it is thirty-five. Forty to fifty, it is forty-five. 50 to 60 it is 55 means when class interval uh, are given then in that case you find the mid value that will be the observation column then the corresponding frequencies are here 5 9 15 12 10 3 already it is given in the example the data is given then the next column is f into x frequency into the observations column then next is x square column and then the last one column is f or into x square to find the standard deviation we require this last two uh, x square and f of x square means f into x square column now you do the addition of all the terms so that you will get summation f summation fx summation fx square now the formula to find the arithmetic mean is here summation fx upon summation f is equal to Now summation f x is here one five six seven upon summation f is fifty four, so you calculate the value. It is twenty nine point zero one eight five. So this is your arithmetic mean. Now the standard deviation. The formula is here. Sigma is equal to under root 
summation f x square upon summation f minus summation f of f x in sorry summation f x upon summation f whole square. So this bracket term summation f x upon summation f is your arithmetic mean. Calculated it. It is twenty nine point zero one eight five. You take the square of this term, and summation f x square. F x square is double five. Sorry, four times five zero upon summation f is fifty four. So you just do the calculation of this term, and it is nothing but sigma is equal to thirteen point double six one two. It is sigma is thirteen point double six one two. It is a big value, thirteen point double six one two. So uh, here your conclusion is sigma is quite a large value. So arithmetic mean is not a good average. Yeah, your conclusion because it is a big value, thirteen point. In previous previous example, it was in previous example the value of sigma standard deviation. It was one point three nine two five. It is a small value, so that arithmetic mean is good here in this data in second example. But here in second exam, third example, the arithmetic mean is twenty nine point zero one eight five. But the standard deviation is a big value, thirteen point double six one two, and so it is a large value, quite large value. So arithmetic mean is not a good average. So this is your conclusion. So these are the examples. on um, standard deviation arithmetic mean and standard deviation so this session is over here thank you